Chef Freddie here from Fantasy Springs with my tip of the week. This week I'm going to show you how to grill some fresh pineapple and use it in a refreshing salad. Just perfect for this time of year. Let's get started. First we want to peel, slice, marinate our pineapple. We're going to cut the pineapple right in half after it's peeled. Then we're going to slice it up, but we're going to leave the core in for now. You can remove those little sections of the core after they're grilled. We leave it in, it helps hold the pineapple slice together, especially when you're on the grill. It's easier to handle that way. Next, we take our sliced pineapple, lay them in a, a pan. We're going to drizzle a little olive oil. It doesn't even have to be olive oil. It can be regular salad oil, a little salt and pepper. If you want to put a little fresh herbs, that's up to you. And that's uh, right to the grill after that. So we're going to grill the pineapple for a good minute on each side. A little longer than that, you might end up overcooking and get a little mushy. You still want to keep it a little bit firm, but just get some good grill marks, some good smoky flavor from the grill, maximum two minutes. So now that our pineapple's been grilled, we can now cut out the core by just a simple V-cut. It's time to toss our salad. We're going to start with adding the arugula and baby kale. Next, we're going to add the baby heirloom tomatoes which is great because now you can find these in most local supermarkets. Then we're going to add what I call carrot ribbons and cucumber ribbons, which are made by taking a peeled carrot and then using the same peeler again to continue to swipe off ultra-fine thin ribbon slices. And the same thing with an English cucumber. Next, we're going to toss it with a dressing. I'm using a sherry design dressing. Feel free to go with that. We're then going to add a little fresh kosher salt and ground pepper to serve. We're going to plate up by placing the tossed salad in the center of the plate. We're going to surround that with the grilled pineapple, a little good chevre goat cheese, and candied bacon that I made by roasting the bacon in the oven on 425 degrees, sprinkled with a little brown sugar. You're going to love that bacon all by itself. And there you have it, a wonderful salad finished with grilled pineapple. I'm Chef Freddie from Fantasy Springs, and I'll see you next time. Forget about it.